what's up y'all we are at SeaTac. we have an hour and a half flight to calgary and then about a two hour drive to banff this amy trailer calling passengers lisa cranston dr james What is up? We finally made it to Banff and we got in last night at about 2 in the morning. Um, we had a two hour drive from the airport in Calgary but our rental car was taking a while to get for some reason so it just took us a lot longer than we anticipated and we are here now and we couldn't get our park passes last night because the place was closed so I'm going I'm walking to the visitor center to get them now so I just went to the visitor center and I got my Banff National Park pass for the weekend um, so we're here from Friday until Sunday and it was $42 and we're excited. Um, Chris is still working a little bit so that's why I went to do this now. But yeah, they were super helpful, gave me a map, showed me all the things and we're excited to check it out. So far the air is super fresh, it's gorgeous and I can't wait to see everything. Yo, what's up? I'm taking a break from work, getting some lunch. Uh, been a pretty long day. We got in at like 2 a.m. last night, so I'm pretty tired. Uh, got up at like 8, 8 a.m. here to work and gonna work a little bit in the afternoon after lunch and then we're gonna go do some cool stuff. Our chicken sandwich with some fries. She got a salad with garlic bread. But today I got a free cappuccino. We just finished lunch. They kind of messed up, but then they made it up for us by giving us a free cappuccino, free drink, and they actually gave us a discount on the food. They just uh, messed up the order. I ordered a chicken burger and they gave me a burger burger. And now we're back to work. Feeling good. It's been a little while since we've eaten. So, time to grab. Got an indoor pool, two jacuzzis. About to sit right there later. Also, you can see a pretty cool view out there. It's hard to see it. a travel hack. Bring slides. They're a lot easier to slip on and slip off when you're going in between places. And not as tedious as, as like shoelaces. Is Chris working hard or hardly working? Let us <laughs> know in the comments below. We're going to Lake Louise and that's one of the main reasons we stayed in Lake Louise because a lot of the hiking and things we wanted to see are in this area which is still like 45 minutes drive away from downtown Banff. Um, so we're going to go check that out and there's a walkway around the lake and it's going to be gorgeous and we're all bundled up and ready to go. 60 or 70 in Seattle and it is like... 25 30 degrees here and it's snow expected tonight and we've got a nice two-wheel drive Toyota Corolla so wish us luck they say it's the off season but the parking lot is 
jam packed. Oh yeah, that guy has my same jacket. Good looking jacket right there. This is Chateau Lake Louise. It's a very luxurious spot right on the lake and it's probably really expensive, so we didn't stay there. Mustering at the muster point. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. We've just been walking around Lake Louise and it is otherworldly honestly one of the most beautiful places that we've ever been the pictures and videos don't do it justice the water is turquoise and the mountains are massive it's been a little bit cloudy so you haven't even seen how big they are but the canadian rockies are something different it is awesome there's a lot of a lot of a lot of people here but they said that you know it's the off season so it's not as crowded as it normally is so win for us and we also got free parking so also win yep it's late october and it's a bit chilly so we brought hand warmers and it's been clutch yeah so our camera died at lake louise we took a couple hikes there just walked around the lake uh took some pictures saw some cool things just sat there and soaked in the beautiful views but then our camera died and so we couldn't really take on any of the hikes that we saw um unfortunately but so we came back to the hotel uh grabbed a new battery we're gonna go out um in the town and see if there's anything to to do or explore maybe there's some restaurants or shops to grab grab a drink or you know get a souvenir or something So we stayed at Lake Louise Inn. It's usually supposed to be packed during the winter, but it's kind of the off season and between, the and the summer, but like between summer and winter is fall and it's not very- It's um, also late fall. Late fall, so it's not very packed at all. And they've got that discount. We got it for about 90 bucks a night, 80 bucks a night. Yeah. Really good deal. We also and it's very had not points crowded. from our Chase travel credit card and it paid for the whole thing, so. Yep, and here's our walk. We're about five minutes away from a... The village center. From a village center. We've arrived at the mall in the visitor center in Lake Louise, and there's probably five or so shops. We're gonna check it out. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Till the air can Standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. Live your life within the moment. So there wasn't much at the mall area. We thought there might be more of like a brewery or something that we could snack on. Um, so we're gonna snack on. so we're gonna head back to the hotel, which is like four minute walk, five minute walk, and then uh, look for somewhere to grab a drink or dinner, and maybe both. So yeah, well we kind of knew this was gonna be the case by staying in Lake Louise because there's a lot less around here. Um, but we wanted to be here to be close to Lake Louise and all the hikes that we were gonna yeah. do. There's more outdoorsy stuff. I yeah. Suppose, closer here. But if you were looking for more of like a bar slash foodie scene, then you'd want to stay in Banff or even Canmore. But we opted for the outdoor experience. Weekend. Yes. Um, but I think we're gonna go see Banff on Sunday. Yep. We'll show you all the things it has to offer. So we're at the Lake Louise train station, or the old train station. 
they turned it the old train house into a restaurant and bar but it is closed for the season we we're hoping to grab a drink here um and enjoy it inside one of these beautiful old cabs but unfortunately it's closed we'll have to come back another time there weren't a ton of food options we didn't really feel like driving back up to the chateau slash it was probably gonna be really expensive so we're gonna have some pizza at our hotel some drinks hang out and probably hot tub and then go to bed early so we can be up for sunrise fact about me, I love hot tubs. It's nice and warm. There's three different hot tubs, so everyone gets a hot tub. Um, the highlight of my day was going to Lake Louise with Chris and just soaking in the enormity of the mountains and the lake and just like it's so unreal how beautiful nature is and just enjoying that moment together it was beautiful what was your favorite part of the day um this hot tub first of all second of all uh we got free drinks because the waiter messed up our order and he thought Mateo was cute um, and then we also went to Lake Louise which is like such natural gorgeous beauty that it's just kind of unfathomable compared to like what your camera can capture you can't really understand how beautiful that area is and so we just like sat there for like a little bit of time and just soaked it all in and looked at nature and its beautiful habitat um, and yeah, I think, that was, I think that was it. Like that was, that was my favorite highlight. There's three different highlights in there, but hey, thanks for tuning in to our fun adventures here in Banff, and stay tuned for what we have going on next. It's exciting. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel, and we look forward to catching you on the next one. Comment below if you have any of your favorite things that you've done in Banff. We want to hear about it.